Miyashita, the designer behind Japanese label number nine, started out working in street style in the Harajuku neighborhood. When he opened his own business, he moved to a part of town called Ebisu, which at that time was kind of the wild frontier. The look of this store, it's definitely kind of out on the frontier somewhere, it smells a bit wild westy. The clothes are somewhere between rock and roll, cowboy, and always with this kind of gothic edge. So, the Miyashita no hair, Miyashita no ear, and more so, the Miyashita no atama no ka, to it to me, you know, no Miyashita ga, to it to me, to it to me. Did Miyashita select that, that skull? Miyashita ga dai suki na irezumi mo, kore ga hai to me, to お坊さんでとても偉い方の頭蓋骨をこういう装飾をして朝ここに水を入れて拝むというのがとても話しましたこれは本当にトベタンプリストを着ているこれは本当に怖いです The fascination with Americana and rock and roll is really obvious The whole notion of the rebel, the outlaw the West, skull rings, yes. The attention to detail, the way that there's a musical kind of motif printed on the, the basting inside t-shirts, that's just a little thing. Definitely adds to the flavor of the clothes. Every single button on this sleeve works all the way up. Nine buttons, nine buttonholes. This is number nine's particular interpretation of dolls. If you know Clive Barker's horror books with button eyes, very spooky looking these things. These toys are not to be played with by children. What does number nine mean? Beatles no revolution number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine.